accomplish a lot today in terms of educating you on some things you can do to help improve your vision and to reverse serious eye diseases. Now I kind of wear two hats. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I've practiced traditional ophthalmology probably for close to 30 years. And when I discovered alternative medicine, uh, it really changed my life. I said, my goodness, this, this, these things really work. And the thing I like about alternative therapies, we're actually trying to cure the disease. We're trying to get to the, the root problem to get your body healthy and to stimulate your body to heal. And unfortunately, traditional medicine doesn't do that. It just, you know, they give you the drug du jour, they do their surgeries, the lasers, and they don't, they don't do anything to really try to stimulate your body to heal. So I'm hoping that um, we'll be able to educate you on just some basic, basic concepts on how to improve your vision. Now, many of you, uh, you know, are suffering from macular degeneration. You know, when you go to the eye doctor and they tell you you have macular degeneration, nothing can be done. Either that or they do multiple laser procedures or cataract surgery, and maybe that improves your vision for a brief period of time, and then the disease or macular degeneration comes back. So what I'd like to talk to you about is uh, to give you an outline of uh, things we're going to talk about today that actually are going to be beneficial not only for macular degeneration, but for any eye problem. So I'm going to give you an outline of what the whole day is going to be. We're going to begin by talking about nutrition. And I really think that the biggest health crisis in our country is our poor diet. We're slowly poisoning ourselves with genetically modified food, um, the preservatives that are in the foods we eat. And we, the food, the bulk of the food that we eat just doesn't have any nutritional value. So we're going to introduce you to what we call our 70-30 diet and we like you to really begin to shift your diet more towards organic living food, food that has life and it's going to have to give nutrition into your body. The second thing we're going to talk about is hydration. And Dr. Batman Jaldi, who's a brilliant Persian physician, wrote a book called Our Body's Many Cries for Water. And he feels that all chronic disease, and that's a pretty powerful statement, all chronic disease is due to um, dehydration, excuse me, is due to dehydration. So as we get older, we begin to decrease our water intake and uh, we become dehydrated and water is essential to help detoxify your body and to eliminate toxins. And all the cellular mechanisms, metabolism of the body is based on water. So as we get the, become dehydrated, uh, we accumulate these toxins and it makes us more prone to chronic disease. So we're going to talk about hydration. Uh, the third area is a mineral deficiency. I was really shocked. I, I would say 80 to 90 percent of patients that I see are deficient in zinc even though they're taking it as a supplement. And zinc is essential for every enzymatic reaction in the body. And many studies have been done to show that zinc deficiency is related to eye diseases. In fact, I have to laugh because in a man, three things happen when they're zinc deficient. They have decrease in vision, decrease in hearing, and they got prostate problems. And how many men over the age of 65 have those three conditions? So just by simply checking the zinc and making sure you're taking adequate amounts, we can reverse a lot of these problems. We're going to also talk about uh, vitamin deficiency. I started by talking about nutrition and how the American diet is very pathetic. And so many of us here are nutritionally deplete. And it's essential that we begin to take vitamins, at least to establish that foundation to help regain your health. 
In fact, sometimes we even recommend you have a Myers cocktail. This is an intravenous mixture of vitamins to really help boost your vitamin um, levels and to help enable your body to begin to heal. Um, the other thing we're going to talk about is the autonomic nervous system. And after practicing alternative medicine for over 20 years, I'm really beginning to appreciate the value of balancing the autonomic nervous system. You know, we have a sympathetic and a parasympathetic system. Most of us are living in a sympathetic state, which is a state of fear and anxiety. And the body will not heal if you're in that sympathetic state. So when the grizzly bear's chasing you in the woods and you're running for your life, your body is not able to heal. And many of you have anxieties, worries about your eye disease, uh, you know, lack of support, and this is causing you to stay in that sympathetic state. So no matter what you do, vitamins, proper diet, if we don't balance that autonomic nervous system, uh, it's going to be difficult for your body to heal. Uh, we're also going to be introducing you to vision therapy. And, um, you know, for the longest period of time, most of my work was doing things to try to improve your acuity, your ability to see more letters on the eye chart. But I discovered that our vision and functioning is more than acuity in seeing letters. And by improving the functioning of your system through different eye exercises, uh, you can dramatically improve your overall ability to function. In fact, there was a study done at the VA hospital where they took a group of people with macular degeneration and all they did was introduce them to vision therapy, different eye exercises. And the majority of these people had an improvement of their function. So it, it goes hand in hand. I think the vision therapy is something new and exciting that we've added to our program and it's really helped a lot of people. Then um, we're going to talk about homeopathy. Homeopathy is my favorite aspect of alternative therapy because homeopathy um, is a type of medicine in which the belief is that the body has the ability to heal itself. And what we do is we not only look at your particular eye disease, but we look at you as a person. And then we look at your mental, emotional, and your physical problems, and we select a homeopathic remedy which acts as a catalyst. We're also going to talk about chelation therapy and ozone. Many of you are familiar with chelation in terms of cleaning the blood vessels and improving circulation, but it does much more than that. It helps remove heavy metals from the body, helps you to detox, helps you to regain your health. We're also going to talk about ozone therapy. Ozone therapy is, um, can be a powerful adjunctive therapy to begin to help the body heal. And uh, Dr. Robert Rowan, who's a good friend of mine, is considered one of the leading experts on ozone therapy. And he introduced me to this method of reversing uh, ocular pathology. And we're finding out that intravenous ozone, ozone eye drops can really help people with eye disease. And last, we're going to talk about um, microcurrent therapy. Many of you are here primarily because of microcurrent <coughs> therapy, but I really want to make it clear that microcurrent therapy is just one part of our program. That if you don't have all the other basic things that I talked about, nutrition, hydration, proper mineral levels, uh, the microcurrent is not going to work as effectively.